Welcome to a short presentation on JNCC's updated conservation advice, where to find it and how to use it. On JNCC's website, there are site information centres for each offshore marine protected area. These can be found on the marine pages under offshore MPAs, where you can select the desired site. On the site information centre, there is a link to the JNCC interactive mapper, which presents site and features in the geographical context. When you scroll down, you will find further information about the site, including a summary of the site, evidence which has been collated within the site, activities and management currently occurring, monitoring and assessment information, as well as the conservation advice package. Conservation advice is a package of documents, including background, conservation objectives, supplementary advice on conservation objectives, conservation statements, and advice on operations. Conservation advice is used within JNCC to help guide an MPA through the management cycle. We use it to assist us in monitoring and assessing the condition of protected features and providing advice on management options and casework occurring within the site. Offshore industries and regulators also use our advice to assist in undertaking assessments of impacts on the site from any proposed activity. The conservation advice can also then be used to help plan measures to manage a marine protected area and ensure the delivery of a site's conservation objectives. The background document explains the purpose of the advice and where to find it. Information is included on how the advice has been prepared and why, and JNCC's role in providing conservation advice. It also provides guidance on when you should refer to this advice and how to apply it. The conservation objectives set out the broad ecological aims for the site. You should use this document along with the supplementary advice on conservation objectives to assess the impacts of a planned activity on the site. The supplementary advice on conservation objectives is also known as the SACO. This includes conservation objectives for attributes of a feature, such as extent and distribution, structure and function, and supporting processes, where explanatory notes provide generic feature information and site-specific information and detail the references that have been used. The SACO is essential reading to help interpret the conservation objectives. This is where we provide further detail and site-specific information for each feature within the site, providing conservation objectives for the attributes. You can use this document to learn about the features of the site and the attributes used to describe their ecological condition. This will help you assess the impacts of a planned activity on the site's features. The Advice on Operations is an Excel workbook which provides information on the activities capable of affecting the site's features. There is a guidance document available on the first tab which can be accessed by double clicking on the image. This PDF explains how to use the Advice on Operations workbook and the information contained within. The Advice on Operations is a starting point for determining potential management requirements. It advises the possible adverse impacts that an activity can have on protected features within the site. When undertaking an assessment, you will also need to take into account the intensity, frequency and cumulative impacts from activities taking place within the site. Conservation statements provide a summary of the conservation advice using detail from the supplementary advice on conservation objectives and information from the advice on operations. The statements include site condition, which presents our up-to-date understanding of the condition of the features within the site, as well as the conservation benefits which the site can provide, including ecosystem services, which help understand what is important about the site and why it needs protecting. Conservation measures are also provided, which JNCC considered are needed to support achievement of the conservation objectives. These provide some clarity around measures needed to support restoration or maintenance of the features within the site. We hope this presentation has been helpful in highlighting the different documents which make up the conservation advice package and show you where you can find information and how you can use it. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to get in touch by emailing offshorempas at jncc.gov.uk.